Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my kitchen organization project. I'm so excited about today's video. I'm gonna be organizing our pantry. If you haven't seen it already, I have a whole video on how I organize my drawers and cabinets. It has been so helpful. I've lived with that organization project in place for like six months. And I am telling you, it has saved me so much time and brain space, just having everything in its own place and organized and in clear bins so I can see it all. So I can't wait to do the same with my pantry. As you can see, I have a plethora of items to organize everything with. I actually bought more than I needed. It's so hard to figure out which bins and organizers you'll actually need for a big project like this. So what I end up doing is I will buy a variety of containers and then lay them all out like this. I like to see everything at once and have them organized so that as I'm pulling food out of the pantry, I can just look and see what I have and decide which container would be best. So most of these things are from Amazon and Walmart, the home edit, I love their bins. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. But I wanna get started because my husband's watching the baby and I am limited on time, so let's get started. All right, first things first, let me show you a quick before of all of the pantry cabinets that I have. As you can see, they're really messy. I just kind of have been throwing things in here and not really having too much of a system. Our pantry is also deceivingly small. It might look like there's a lot of cabinets here, but this pantry is very shallow. So there's only so many items I can place on each shelf. There's just a lot of wasted space here, which is why having organizers is so helpful. So I'm really excited to pull everything out and configure an entirely new system in here. Like I said, the first thing we want to do when we are organizing a space is completely empty it. Then I'm going to come in here with a vacuum cleaner and wipe off these shelves so that we have a nice clean slate. As I'm in here, I am realizing how old some of these products are. This Christmas tin you may think is from this past Christmas, but no, it is from two Christmases ago. That's how long this thing has been in here and that's how badly I needed to do this pantry organization. I am so shocked at how many expired items were in here. Yeah, guaranteed, if you haven't cleaned out your pantry in a while, you're gonna find some of those things too. So if you're looking for a sign on whether or not you should organize your pantry, this is your sign. I probably got rid of half of the items in my pantry just tossing out expired foods. Okay, this is where we are at so far. I have filled all of my countertops with food and containers, so it's time for me to pull out another table. I just need a little bit more space so that I can see everything and get it organized. So I grabbed this table from the garage and I'm gonna start placing all the food on here and trying to organize it in categories. Thank you. 
Right now I am throwing away a bunch of expired food and let me tell you, I am heartbroken at how many items I had to throw away. It just made me so sad to feel this wasteful. I didn't even know I had so much food in the pantry that I wasn't using. So now that I'm gonna be a lot more organized with my pantry, I will do much better in the future not to waste food. This is probably one of the biggest advantages of having an organized pantry where you can see everything, you know exactly what you have, and that is so helpful when you're going to cook or you're going to the grocery store. I no longer buy multiples of things, especially when I already have them, because I can easily see what I have and what I don't have before I go to the store. So you are saving money in the long run and you're not being wasteful. Now we are moving on to the Lazy Susan. I still consider this part of the pantry because a lot of these items are pantry items. So first I'm pulling everything out and then I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing them on the counter. I have to do a shout out for my favorite vegetable chopper. I literally have to wear goggles when I cut onions because I cry so much. If you're like me and you don't like cutting veggies, this thing is going to change your life. Holding my hand, but I'm okay with it. I'm just fine taking it all. Okay guys, we are moving right along. Now we are here at the spice cabinet. I love this thing because it's pretty narrow and hidden, but it fits a lot of things. So I bought these really cute containers that are all glass and they have little stickers associated with them. So I can't wait to pour all of the spices into their own little glass containers. It'll be even easier to distinguish which spices are which, and I think it's just gonna have a much cleaner and sleeker look. So here's everything on the cabinet that I need to organize and start figuring out a new system for. I also had some appliances at the bottom of the Lazy Susan that I'll have to figure out a new situation for, but these items are all at least partly organized. I've kind of put them into their categories and thrown away everything that is expired. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for everything that was in the Lazy Susan and in the spice drawer. This is an ongoing process. This literally took me all day, so I would definitely space out some time if you are going to start this project because it takes a lot of time to get everything together, but I promise you it is so worth it. Step at a time, moving slower than ever before. When I went to go start putting some of these food items back in the pantry, I realized I forgot to empty two of the shelves. So here I am doing that. And I'm actually really excited because I got this cool new can dispenser that is going to hold all the cans. And oh my gosh, it has just made my life so much easier and utilized the space so much better. Also, since I'm already here, I decided to organize this whole area as well. A lot of this is baby food, medicine. Randomly, I have cup tumblers up here. There's just so much randomness going on in these cabinets, so I figured I'll just clean them all out while I'm here. But first, I have to show you guys my embarrassing Humpty Dumpty moment. We can do it. Last shot. Oh.
now that I have all of the food out, I'm able to see which containers I'm actually going to end up using. So the ones that I am going to use, I'm going to wash and dry completely. And now comes my favorite part of any organization project. I'm going to be placing all of the food items in their appropriate container. And it is so satisfying to see all of these things in their new home. Another thing I like to do is I will write the expiration date at the bottom of the canister and the marker I'm using is specifically for plastic or glass so it easily wipes off when you wash it. And then for the pancake mix, I am going to cut out the side of the box with the directions on it and then I'll just tape it right to the side of this canister so that I always have the directions in case I need them. After hours and hours of prep, we are finally starting to stage the pantry. I love how these canisters look. It's just making me so happy seeing everything in its place. We still have to set up the Lazy Susan and the spice rack. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video for lots of satisfying before and afters. Here is the can organizer I mentioned earlier. This thing is amazing. I saw it on another YouTuber's channel. I forget who, but this thing has been so helpful because it holds so many cans, but you can still see what's in there at a glance, just opening the pantry and it fit perfect in my pantry. So major win on that. Here's how it looks when it's all set up. As you can see, it's such a better use of space.
is another fun kitchen product that I am so happy with. These glass containers for spices. They also came with these stickers, really helpful. And I just love that they're nice and small so that I'm able to fit more spices in my spice cabinet. It also came with this little funnel so that you can easily transfer all your spices. This has saved me space, so I'm able to fit a lot more spices in my drawer because sometimes these spices come in weird shaped bottles, so it's nice to be able to have so many more items in there and the fact that everything is labeled and they all just have this nice sleek uniform look. I am so happy with this purchase. I'll have everything linked below. But it's these little things that as a mom just make me so happy. this basket at home goods but I am just using this to have any restock items that I want to place in the pantry that I don't necessarily want to be showing so I bought a basket that I can just throw everything into that is extra and that I don't have a space for already Okay, I think this is the last item I'm gonna shout out. I found so many cool kitchen products in this haul, so I have to share this one. I found this through Beauty and the Beastin's YouTube page. She has the same electric salt and pepper shaker. It is amazing. I use this every single day. It just makes it so simple and easy to season your food, especially when you're cooking or you only have one hand available because you're holding a baby. This is an awesome purchase. Okay, y'all, we are almost to our before and afters. The last area that I'm organizing is our little medicine cabinet area. So I'm putting together all the vitamins, baby medicine, adult medicine, everything in their right place. And I'm gonna put them in these clear acrylic bins, which are always my best friend. So once I am done with this, I will show you guys the final before and afters of all of our cabinets. Thank you for sticking with me. I promise it's gonna be so worth it once you see how it turns out.
I hope you guys are enjoying all of these before and afters. My family and I have loved our pantry and how this system is working for us. I've noticed that ever since I organized the pantry, we are eating healthier, we are not wasting as much food, and we're starting to get a little more adventurous in our cooking because we're able to see all the spices, all of the different ingredients we have. So this project has really benefited my family in a huge way. So I hope that if you do decide to do this project that it helps you as well. Please let me know if you do a pantry organization and if you enjoyed this video because I know for me I have watched so many other videos like this and it's helped inspire me to do this specific project. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to 2023 and I will see you in my next video. Bye!